Hello everybody. Day five, lesson five. I hope everybody is hanging in there in this in this lockdown. You know, sometimes I feel like the Swiss Family Robinson stranded on a on a deserted island. So what I did today was I went out to eat. I mean, literally, we we ate outside. I think it's it's important uh, at this time to to break the monotony, to shake things up. You know, maybe have dinner outside if you have a, a, a balcony or if you have a garden uh, just go sit in your garage and, and, and eat something have a picnic in the driveway or something uh, it's it's important to, to, to shake things up once again thanks for all the, the comments and the questions uh, you know relating to the, the coding as we get more and more into it people are having certain challenges and issues and it's very important that that you ask you know somebody somebody uh, said once that the only irritating or the only dumb question is the one you didn't ask so please feel free whichever channel you're watching this on whether it's on social media i mean i'm posting this to linkedin youtube instagram facebook and even our website uh, the it varsity website uh Please ask questions. I, I'm I'm happy to answer your questions. I mean, it's 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 what we do. Then on the subject of questions, a lot of people are asking me about. Uh, they are asking me for advice on on uh, careers in IT, careers in app development, software development, web design. I mean, I've had so many parents ask me that already. I we have the ideal solution. If you go to our website, to the IT Varsity website. And you click on entrepreneur on the on the top menu. There's a page that describes the entrepreneur course. But at the bottom of the page, there's a there's a form that you you can fill in to set up a a free consultation with myself and my son Masi. We we are the the guys that made made the entrepreneur course, and we generally mentor and train uh, students on that. So if you have any questions about IT as a career, maybe web design, starting your own business. Please don't hesitate. Give us a uh, drop us drop us a message, and we'll schedule a time. If you're in South Africa, we'll 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 do it over the phone. If you're out of South Africa, we generally work with Zoom. Zoom is excellent. So yeah, ask away. Okay, coming back to today. Uh, okay, before I go there, before I go there, one other thing is. Uh, I noticed a lot of people uh, didn't know where to find the subsequent uh, lessons of the tutorials, even though I'm posting on social media. So what we did as of yesterday is we made a special page on our IT Varsity website. Uh, and that page, as you can see, it has a list of all the videos right there in one place. Okay. Let's go uh, back to what we're doing today. Today is quite exciting. I'm going to try and finish everything that we're supposed to do today in this one lesson, but it might go over time. So we might just need to split this over two lessons. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an image to our, our website. If you recall, we had that banner image at the top of our page. We're going to, we're going to add that image today now that image is downloadable from the the page on the it varsity website there's a little link there that i'm going to post just below this video this is lesson five so just below lesson five you'll see a link there that says click here to download the the image once you've downloaded the images from our website go to your downloads folder that's where it'll probably uh, download to and then you'll see this file here called images.zip this is actually the whole folder but in zip format now to unzip this you just need to double click it but before we do that let's transfer it to our app folder so click on the file just once and then go to edit and click on copy images.zip or you could just hit ctrl c Next, go back to your app folder. See where I am? And in case you forgot, it's inside the documents folder. So we made our quiz app folder inside the documents folder. And inside the quiz app folder, remember you've got your index.html. What you need to do is to paste that 
file inside that folder so it will live next to your index.html the next thing we're going to do is to unzip it and you do that by double clicking on that file so the moment you double click that file you'll see there's a folder appeared right there once the folder appears you've got a folder called images you've got a file called index.html and then images.zip we don't need this guy anymore you can delete it alright so you're just supposed to have index.html and the images folder now let's take a look inside images when you look inside you'll see there's three images I've I've added two extra images just for practice so the first one is a bridge dot jpg the second one is clouds this is the banner image that we're going to use on our app and finally a globe dot jpg and then we go back hit the back button to go back to the quiz app folder now let's head back to brackets now back in brackets we're going to actually code that image into our page so let's leave a couple of lines and then we put in the open angle bracket and this time we'll put in the tag to add an image so it will be IMG remember it's not the word image it's not I-M-A-G-E it's just IMG right so this says to our our browser that an image is coming up now the browser is going to need to know where exactly is your image where's the source of that image so then you put in the attribute for source so you're going to say src again you're not typing the whole word source you're just typing src is equal to the equals to sign and then you put in double quotes and see what brackets is doing brackets is already showing us a pop-up box with all the options inside the quiz app folder remember inside the quiz app folder we've got index.html and we've got the folder called images see how easy bracket makes it for us so simply click on images and then choose your image that you want to display here so let's start with bridge so I simply click on that and that's it then you hit forward slash and close angle bracket there is no close image tag that's just the way things are in HTML you've just got one tag where you put in the source of your image unlike for example the paragraph tag or the h6 or the h1 that have an open and a closed tag the image just has one tag it doesn't have an open or a closed tag awesome so if you've come this far that's really really excellent now let's save this guy and check up what happens in the browser back in the browser I hit refresh and there we go fantastic my image is now displaying on my browser excellent